Shana Tova. All the best for a sweet and healthy new year. Shana Tova. Happy new year to you and your family. Shana Tova from our family to yours. Hope you have a sweet new year. Shana Tova from everyone at the Bill and Sid Rubin Preschool. Maybe a happy, sweet, and very playful year. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Shana Tova. Happy new year. Shana Tova. Hope it's a good and sweet new year. Shana Tova, I wish you a sweet new year. Shana Tova, everybody. See you at services next week. Shana Tova, wishing you and your families a very happy and sweet new year. Happy new year! It's with great joy that all of us look forward to greeting you on our High Holy Days, beginning with Rosh Hashanah, very soon to come upon us. I'd like to suggest a, a theme, an idea to put in your mind as you uh, make your way through our High Holy Days. I think Rosh Hashanah is really here to remind us of the importance of falling in love with the world again. It's been a challenging year. There have been a lot of tumult in our society. The year ends with these tremendous uh, upheavals in nature, and a lot of us are worried and concerned. So I hope that this Rosh Hashanah, in which we celebrate the marvelous creation of the world that God gifted to each of us, that you're able to fall back in love with the world today. And let love be your theme through these high holy days. Because one thing we know in life is that we need to embrace all the love we can. We need to think about the love we have in our homes and the people that are most important to us. How can we strengthen those relationships? That's what the High Holy Days is all about. And then we look out in the world around us, our own community. How can we increase the love there? And how can we make love more prominent in our society so that everyone feels welcome and that they belong? So let love be the theme for these High Holy Days. And may it be a Shana Tova Mituka, a happy, healthy, sweet, and safe new year for you and those that you love. <laughs>